What's up, everybody? Hey, listen real quick. With boxers, when you spar with a headgear on, what does a headgear do? Why do you wear a headgear when you spar? People say it stops the punch. It does not stop the punch. That's why when you see in the amateurs, they fight with a headgear on, guys still get knocked out. The headgear, <coughs> the main reason, <coughs> the main thing headgear stop you from doing is getting cut. That's what the main thing had get. It stops you from getting cut up here. And it stops you from headbutting the next guy. Because when you're butting heads. That's why when you fight in a real fight, you get headbutted all the time. You get headbutted because the headgear makes you lazy. It's a false sense of protection. Because when you swam with your headgear, you letting your head hit the other man's head. Or when you hit on the bag, you be seeing guys resting their head on the bag. Symbolically, you don't realize it, but that's the guy headbutting you. And that's why you guys are getting headbutted up here and you're seeing guys getting cut. That's why. The headgear makes you lazy. That's why Mike Tyson rarely sparred with a headgear on. That's one of the reasons. Because it makes you lazy. You don't need a headgear does not stop you from getting knocked out. People think it does, but it doesn't. It makes you lazy. It takes away your sense of awareness because you figure I got on the headgear, I could take a punch. But like I always say, your body is not made to be hit on. Stop letting these guys beat up on you, man. And and know when you got that headgear on, stop being lazy and resting your head against the other man's head. That's why you be seeing guys' foreheads and shit be getting messed up. Stop doing that. That headgear makes you lazy. Put your head, put one hand in front of the other. That's what you do. All right? All right, y'all, take it easy.